This Is Your Life is actually a theater production that we developed to really help kids see through the messages that they're getting, through the media, through families, peers, school groups, so that they can develop healthy habits. Hey, Julie. Julie, it's good to see you again. Julie, you used to be the greatest cheerleader. Yeah, thanks. And you used to say to us, do whatever it takes to keep a size six. If you think this play, sponsored by the Massachusetts Public Health Department, is a hard act to follow, consider the image our children grow up with. Yes, the diets, straight out of my favorite fashion magazine. And I know that you guys know these magazines. On that diet, I had no energy. I was starving my body. And they never said that when you diet a lot when you're younger, it's almost impossible to lose weight when you get older. Unfortunately, the number of girls and boys with eating disorders is on the rise. Perhaps that's why a lesson like this traveling show is so well received among students. Actually, you know what? I didn't even put this in no, here. I I was, the ab isolator. Yeah, no, it was just I was holding it for a friend. It was it was like a, a like a anchor car seat archery thing. We were. <laughs> All right, so it's. It's mine. I just want it to look good. Wanting to look good isn't a bad thing. No, it's not. But it, come on, admit it. You didn't want to just look good. You wanted to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think the show definitely hit home. Um, in physical education classes, you see a lot of boys and girls that have this, these athletic images that they, they want to impress their friends, their peers. Peer pressure is a very big issue at this level. See, that's the thing about exercise is that, I don't know, find something that you actually like to do so you do it and you have fun doing it, so you keep on doing it. There's I just feel that there. in education, many times you find yourself in a lecture teaching situation, and I believe the boys and girls really get into um, having things presented to them in more of a theatrical presentation, and the presentation today was outstanding. Or we could say things like, oh, hello, mad at your family? Mad at your friends? Well, don't you worry, smoke around them, because secondhand smoke, Kills. Oh, dude, sorry you got emphysema, but you shouldn't breathe so much. I think the best thing I liked about it was that it not only did it educate them, but they were entertained. And by entertaining them, you grabbed their attention. That was the best part. Let's talk about milk, baby. Let's talk about broccoli. And that's all Let's we've been hearing is positive baby. feedback Let's from the staff. They were outstanding. <laughs> I really enjoyed the humor. I was in the back of the audience and I actually had tears <laughs> streaming down throughout the entire show. They, they really, um, they were funny, they were creative, very impromptu, and um, I thought the kids enjoyed it as much as I did. All natural, it tastes good, and it's good for me. What did you bring? <laughs> I got a big Whopper Mac thing. Um, it's got a lot of stuff in it I'd really rather not get into right now. Like eight teaspoons of fat. They don't have that in a song, do they? To all beef patties, eight teaspoons of fat. No. Did you like the show? Yeah. And this is one lesson from school that appears to be sinking in. A reason I thought it was really good was because you kind of had the audience as part of the show, and yeah. usually the people yell at us and tell us to be quiet, but you <laughs> wanted us to be part of it. Right. I'm not gonna diet as much. Okay, do you diet now? I'm on a special diet right now. You are? Too blubbery. Do you feel like you're too blubbery? Now, now do look you... at this fat. See, okay. you don't have to <laughs> okay. See, it's not, and it's just the problem is the images you're seeing. I learned that 98% of women, although they look they can look really beautiful. They can't look like a perfect Barbie doll, and only 2% of women can look like really perfect, and, and it's won. probably fake anyway. <laughs> but I learned um, that you can get osteoporosis from like being anorexic. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Um, I'm not, I, I really like the show a lot, and I don't think I'm gonna care as much about like whether it's skinny or fat or how I look. Like the thing about not spending all the money on the, all the advertisements, because it just, they don't work. Sometimes I eat just like a cookie for breakfast, but now that I learned that it's not good and you should take the time to eat a healthy breakfast and it'll help you out later in the day. I'm gonna eat more vegetables and fruits and other healthy foods. I'm gonna start eating fun, like getting a lunch instead of spending my money on a Coke at the store. I'm gonna start drinking more milk than 
what I have been because oh, I found out that you can get osteoporosis, you know. Right. When I look at catalogs and magazines, all the people were like sizes three and five, and I think that the people who take the pictures and work for the magazine should get like real people that are bigger than that. I think that because there's so many diseases like anorexia and bulimia that people are realizing that all the models that are in magazines aren't really the way we should look, that they're figuring out that we don't have to look like Barbie to be pretty. I learned that if you're a girl, you don't have to like fit into a size sick or get breast implants or anything like that to be pretty. Okay. Like, just be yourself. I learned that it shouldn't matter what you look like. You should have friends just the way you are. I learned that um, when people if people expect you to be a certain way and if you're not comfortable with that, you shouldn't go with the way they want you to be. You should be the way you want to be. Mm -hmm. The This Is Your Life program features a 50-minute theater performance and a school follow-up resource kit, which includes Hands-On Health, a 200-page teacher's activity guidebook featuring hundreds of hands-on activities that meet national standards for comprehensive health. In-depth information on each health segment covered. Reproducible handouts for students, teachers, and parents. A guide to frequently asked questions. Teacher evaluations and student health assessments. A press packet. And a This Is Your Life video is available for follow-up all year long. To bring This Is Your Life to your middle school, high school, college, conference, or special event, please call us at 1-800-FOODPLAY. That's one 800 366-3752 or visit us at our website www.foodplay.com